and welcome to Graphic Online News in Brief. In the headlines, Vaccine Committee presents roadmap for local production of vaccines. Liberia camp residents share varying sentiments ahead of demolition exercise. Seven illegal miners arrested in Eastern Region Swoop and school feeding caterers call for overhauling of school feeding secretariat. News in Brief is brought to you by Graphic News Plus. Download your Graphic News Plus now and choose your preferred package daily, weekly, monthly, and annually and access free news on various interest areas as well. Graphic News Plus, connecting people through news. And now the News in Brief. A committee is set up to develop a comprehensive action plan for local vaccine production in Ghana has presented a draft roadmap to that effect. The Presidential Vaccine Manufacturing Committee has been tasked to develop a plan and strategy for local vaccine production in Ghana to meet the country's vaccine needs and those of the sub-region. The Secretary to the Committee, Professor William Ampofo, outlining the draft roadmap in a stakeholder meeting on Thursday, expressed his excitement on the efforts made so far for local vaccine production. He says the formation of the committee is a big milestone in the local production of vaccines. I, I'm very, very proud that um, we are here at this stage today. Um, some of us have been advocating for vaccine manufacturing on our continent for a couple of years. And it is very gratifying that our own president has seen uh, the wisdom in putting this committee together to take us forward to actually be able to manufacture vaccines in Ghana. And I think this is a big milestone. We, we have understood that a typical vaccine roadmap starts with two to five years exploratory. If you take clinical trials, that could take you another two years to determine whether this vaccine is safe. We've already mentioned the very critical partnerships to be required. One big question that we ask is, where is the money going to come from? We are looking for partnerships by the funding. We're very happy that the German government has stepped up already, and most of the things we are doing currently are supported by the German government in partnership with the government of Ghana. We want Ghana to become self-sufficient in the production of vaccines, and we want this to meet our national needs and also, if possible, supply our fellow neighbors in the sub-region. Affected residents of the upcoming demolition exercise at Gumwa Bujuburam in the central region by the Gumwa East District Assembly have shared varied sentiments about their impending eviction. While some say the exercise is necessary to address the criminal activities in the area, others lament they have nowhere to go and insist they will resist any action to forcibly evict them. Thursday, September 30 marked the ultimatum set by the assembly for the affected victims to relocate because the camp has expired and the space is needed for redevelopment. Where are we going? First of all, the borders are closed under COVID. Where do we go? The borders are closed. Telling us to go is even, is even more apartheid than what's happening in Palestine. How can you ask me to go when the borders are closed? I don't understand it. So what they expect us to do? So the only thing with the Laguen, we don't have place to go. We will be here. Let them come, come and demolish. Let them come and demolish. But what they have for us as a Liberian, let them give it to us. Two Ghanaians and their five foreign accomplices still engaged in illegal mining activities in the new Ebrim district of the eastern region have been arrested. They were arrested today, Thursday, when the Deputy Lands Minister, George Mrikuduka, led a team of security personnel to clamp down on illegal mining activities in the area. Speaking to the media, the Deputy Minister said the exercise follows distress calls from people in the mining communities who were complaining about the destructive activities of illegal miners. He says the arrested illegal miners will be prosecuted. The resurgence of the Galamse in the eastern region comes just two weeks after the Lands Minister Samuel Abujinapo expressed his excitement about what he says is the clearing up of the Tano and Bia rivers in the western region, a development he says indicates the fight against illegal mining 
is bearing fruit. We've had distress calls all over at the ministry. Uh, for example, this one, people uh, came to the ministry that there have been illegal miners around who have diverted the Pearl River and we had to come. Uh, when we informed the military, they said, yes, we are ready at four times. We need to protect the country. The police said, yes, we are here uh, to assist you. Uh, the naval command said we will assist. And that's why we're here uh, in the force wing to fight this battle. Now, final story today. Members of the Ghana National Association of School Feeding Caterers are calling on the government to remove the national coordinator of the school feeding secretariat, Dr. Gertrude Koshiga, and her directors from office. The association accuses the administrators of incompetence and mismanagement. At a press conference on Thursday, the association said between 2019 and 2020, the secretariat paid about 30 million cities to 511 non-beneficiary schools of the program. Listen to Ms. Caroline Abwaje, PRO of the Ghana National School Feeding Caterers Association. These are the copies from all the 16 regions, all the 16 regions across the country. This is the whole Ghana. Names of those schools that was paid between 2019 2020 academic year. We see this as causing financial loss to the state. We see it as causing financial loss to the state. And we believe in Nanado Dafo Ekufuado that he is incorruptible and therefore he cannot work with corrupt officials. That is our stand on this. So we are pleading with the president and through your medium that the president should see this, look through it, who we'll petition the appropriate quarters. Who we'll petition the chief of staff? Who we'll petition the director of BNI? Petition the IGP because we we want investigation into these issues. And to our surprise, the real cadres, I mean the true cadres, who could from 2019 to 2020 were not paid because the former gender minister, Honorable Cynthia Mamele Morrison. Together with the national, the current national coordinator, because he worked with the former gender minister, stated emphatically that our schools did not go through the uh, normal or the correct procedure. That is why most schools are not paid. Our question is, when the go schools sent through the normal procedure, the question, the answer is no. The answer is no. Yes. We feel the national coordinator together with all directors and all political appointees from district to region to the national secretariat must be set, must go for new faces to come. And we still stand, school feeding needs overhauling. Yeah. The secretariat needs overhauling. Yes. The secretariat needs overhauling. Yes. The yes. are not ready to work with the national coordinator and yeah. its They must go. Yes. They must they go must for go. the betterment of yes. cadres. They must go for the betterment of the ordinary people, yes. those who are going to school. Because ever since the introduction of school feeding, it has increased enrollment in our basic schools. And it has become part of our educational curriculum. This is our hard work. Thank you. Thank you for watching. We'll see you again with another edition. Stay safe and protect yourself from COVID-19. For more news, visit graphic.com.gh or log on to Facebook at Daily Graphic and on YouTube at Graphic GH. I'm Ama Amankwa Befi. Subscribe now.